For more information, go to science, 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 science. What's up, the internet? Happy Thursday. Today we're doing a quick video because I'm trying to get ready to go out of town to San Antonio. And wait a minute, by the time you're watching this, that was already in the past. All right guys, we're doing a quick unboxing and we're gonna open this thing up and we're gonna do some of the stuff in it and it's like I said, it's gonna be quick and cool. He's so lucky, he, he's gonna get to meet Dax Shepard. Uh, I hope I get to meet Dax Shepard. Hey, maybe I already met Dax Shepard. All right. Don't, Don't play with knives, kids. Oh, Whoa. guys, the one first? Mel Science, Mel Chemistry. Whoa. For those of you that didn't see it, we did some promo for Mel Science a few months back. My phone's at 4%. Mine's at 3%. Your brain's at 3%. We also have a subscription where they send us the stuff every month. So we haven't actually sat down and done an unboxing to show you what comes in one. So we're gonna show you what's inside here and then we're gonna actually pick an experiment and do it in and out, bam. Okay. So first thing right here we have, Evan, what is that? I don't know, let's just... Oh, I think this is the Mel Chemistry... VR? Um, yeah. This is the VR box, right. <gasps> so cool, so you put your smartphone in here and does VR chemistry stuff. We have not really done a deep dive into that yet, but oh, we'll come back to it? that. Yeah, you can come, you can see that. Ooh, it says age is 12 and up, but uh, I know I, I dub V an honorary 12 year old while your dad's here for today. I night the arise. Um, What's it called? Read it. Read the words. Oh, I'm hot. That contains chemicals that may be harmful if misused. Read cautions on individual containers carefully. Not to be used by children except under adult supervision. That's me. I'm the adult. That's scary. I think we're doing this out of order, John. Let's open up the main kit and see what's in here. That's some sort of an accessory to this. Oh, yeah. Again, we are time travelers. You Okay, we have like a tray thing here. We have oh, a book. Oh, it's like science -y stuff, look it. You guys John, have some goggles. This is so science-y. Put on look those it, And you can put this in it to put stuff into it. <gasps> I feel like a scientist. Oh, hold on, we've got like a, this is like a, this is glass. Hear that? Wait, hold on, listen, you hear this? That's, that's real glass. This is real science. This is real chemistry. I'm a real scientist. Look at this. I want to fill this with like green liquid and put it into a lab. Oh, look. This creates one of those like Bunsen burners. What's a Bunsen burner? <laughs> it's what you burn your Bunsen's on. Um, you don't know what I, mean. I don't know what these are. I got this are. little thingy that has a look. Whoa. Is it a lens? Look at this cool thing. Whoa. Whoa. I don't want to get a shot with Cheryl. that. This is a 60 ml liquid dropper thing. It says discard after use. I wonder why. Uh, we're probably going to be using poison in it. What's this? Obviously. Oh. Whoa. So, Jonna, that must be our kit that came, so it came with this stuff, and this is what we're gonna use to do that thing. All right, so we've got a bunch of these little cups. That, this is a lot of cups. We've got one glass thing here, a beaker there. I think I have to open this for the instructions. So right here are the little things that are containing gloves. They've got two gloves in this. Well, they, this is like zoom lenses and things for your, was this in here? Yeah. Why did they send us this? And then you can take the Yeah, lens. no, no, I know. I've seen these before, but why are they you sending You can take them? off the lens and you can t take off This the snaps onto your, onto your... Here, give me my phone. I think this is the magnifying glass. Chapstick? I just put this lens on my camera to see what it does. Whoa! Whoa. It's like a crazy fish eye. All right, what are we doing, Jonna? Are we making crystals? Yeah, we are. Okay, let's I'm do guessing it. this is going to be the type that like takes a while to like grow the crystals. Oh. So we'll have to check back in. Ooh, this is a macro lens right here. So this lets you get really close to objects. Ooh. Oh, this is so we can look at the crystals up close. <gasps> hey dad, there's oh. multiple. Not suitable for children under 10 years. Oh, Jonna, um, you're um, not 10. Look at this cool photo I was just able to take. Look at this cool photo I just took. Ooh, we get to like mess with like, with like hydraulics and stuff. I just like this camera equipment here. Is this uh, is this zoomed okay. onto my eye? Number one, first Whoa. prepare to Can you see my eye close. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, Jonna, do I need to get closer or farther away? Whoa. Whoa. Closer. Oh, cool, Dad. So you plug those, but then look at this. You get to watch your cr crystal, crystal, uh, crystal, crystal, crystal grow with electricity. Yeah. Okay. 
So it says first prepare the tin chloride <coughs> SNCl2 solution. That's this. Okay. Uh, it says take off this cap and use the red cap. Do you know what you're doing, Jonna? Yeah, I'm reading the instructions. I like to hear that. Okay, then it says to shake it. Wait, wait, wait. it says shake the bottle? It said to pour. Into which thing? Into this thing. Pour, no, pour One that bottle into what? NaHSO4. Into what? Into this. In that little petri dish? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. It's saying to pour the orange into the green. Wait, I think we hook up the black with the red. How about we follow the instructions there, Goober? Goofy Goober! But it's supposed to squirt. Oh, I just got that chemical on my hand. Is this is this uh, sodium hydrogen sulfate? Is that some sort of a, uh, I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. So we just took a break to do a deep dive further investigation. I, I think maybe there's a missing step. So this came with a paper clip. I'm going to assume maybe that they just didn't tell you that you need to use that to poke into this little hole and then open this up. Really? And so now I've done that. And now that I've done that, I'll be able to pour this into here. I feel like you here. shouldn't do that because you don't have gloves on. And now it's working. Uh, so I don't know if that's what the paper clip was for, but it worked. <laughs> Jinx. All right, so now we're gonna proceed very cautiously because we have live chemicals. It says not to use the white one to definitely put the orange one on. Oh, I think by screwing this on, it's actually compressing that piece down. So then the next- shake it. It says the solution will not coat the surface of the Petri dish well. To make the liquid distribute evenly, we need to decrease its surface tension by adding some liquid soap. So, they gave us a yellow thing of liquid soap. Guys, first, if you're gonna do male chemistry, if you're gonna do anything like this, read the instructions, read the instructions, read the instructions. So, the solution will not coat the surface of the Petri dish well. To make the liquid distribute evenly, we need to decrease its surface tension by adding some liquid soap. So it is saying, pour one bottle of the green. So the stuff that he just shook up. Ooh, this looks Whoa, cool. Whoa, that's satisfying. Whoa, that is so satisfying. It's liquid on a Petri dish. You should dish. be trying to get everywhere. It's kind of like, whoa, it's kind of holding its shape. <gasps> it's holding its shape. That's so trippy. What is it doing? It's holding its shape. That is so weird. These are chemicals. It's okay. holding its shape. Did, it's you like, give, did you give him a soap? It's like not going down. Some your beard hair is in there. That's not my beard hair. That's a scratch on the Petri dish. Did you get the soap out? No, I can't do it with these gloves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so far, John has not been able to do anything with the safety gloves on. So I know, right? You He's not need, very safe. You might need a, a, a grown-up with no gloves on. Okay, Evan, I'm gonna open this up. Is that like a really bad chemical right no, there? It's just this soap. is soap. Oh. So you are going to very gently, slowly pour that into that. Okay, is this one the same boat where it's closed? Okay, let me see. No, nope, that's open. I guess it's just really thick. This is just not coming out. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Now go. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, it all moved when he put the soap in. How much did oh, it say to put drops. in? Did it say two drops? Oh, I accidentally put four. Oh my gosh. All right, well, it called for two drops, and that was cool. So that made it stop um, holding its shape. Don't know if we messed up by doing four drops. Okay, we got live chemicals but here. That was awesome. It was that four was cool. Right when we poured it in. Okay, it was three. Like We're doing stuff with electrodes. So we need four. This says 1.5 volt. Now this did, I think this came from across the pond. I think 1.5 volt or AAA. Here, okay, so this goes on the side and it said it should be touching the solution. Dad, that has some dangerous chemicals in it. Yeah, okay. I, maybe it's uh, just in my mind, but every time I touch it, I feel like I feel my skin burning. That's because you're a dummy, okay? Okay, so the batteries are in place. Okay, and then the black gets connected to the black, and the red gets connected to the red. Okay, can you, I'm gonna hold this Petri dish still. You guys connect the wires while I keep the, pe the Petri dish from spilling. So do you know how to pinch that, Evan? Yeah. Okay, now I'm holding that down there. Now you pinch that there, so now. Oh, the crystals are already coming off the negative side. That is crazy. Oh, that is insane. That is awesome. It's, it's like forming, it's forming a crystal by the second you can see it like <gasps> Whoa! Rolling. 
You can see it growing. It looks this like wings, cool. like bug wings. I can zoom in a little. So it's not doing it on the positive side. It's doing it on the negative side. It's coming off of the negative side. So I'm guessing it's supposed to come off the negative side and this one is there to like The positive, it closes the circuit. Whoa. Whoa, that looks like feathers. I want to see if this macro lens is going to let me get all super juicy close to it. It looks like feathers or it almost looks like yeah, the looks like plastic is shattering or cracking. <laughs> cool. Whoa! <laughs> Burp right into the mic. Wow. It's hard to get that close. It looks like snow with like little plants that are covered in ice. So that's creating metal? The tin will gradually form along dendrite-shaped crystals through the solution. So this is the base experiment with these chemicals, and then there's a secondary experiment on the page, which is, so this is called the tin dendrite, and then the second one is the tin hedgehog that you do in a little vial, and it makes what it's calling a little hedgehog. Dad, the positive is forming. Read that. A oh, zinc really? pellet turns into a hedgehog. It's like Black Whoa! Oh yeah. That one's forming black crystals. I want to make the tin hedgehog. It's so crazy because it's like <laughs> the red side is forming like black crystals and the black side is forming like icy crystals and it's really cool because it looks like it was a lake and then Elsa came <laughs> and this is Elsa and it's just like she's shooting her powers into the lake and slowly freezing it. All right guys, so like I said, this needs to be a quick experiment so we don't have time to do the other one right now, but we will post pictures on our Instagram <laughs> of both of these experiments in full, so go check those out if you'd like to. Like I said, going to Dad 2.0 in a few days, but it's actually in the past because science, time travelers, we love you guys. Drop a like, subscribe, check out Jonna's pages, check out the Instagram. We love you, peace out the internet. Science, hashtag science.